absolutely untrue. Uh, it's proper sporty. It's well seen that it's comfy, but it, it's a sporty position. It's not a sport. It's not as uh, aggressive as like the R6 or the Kawasaki's, but you certainly can feel it. You can feel there. You can pull it into the gut. A long time since I've grown really fast on something like this, like 10, 15 years. The, uh, do you remember the the CBR, the 600 that you pushed over when you was a kid? It, th that's the same sort of position as this. But it's... The, the thing with it now, with this C-clutch, you're automatically wanting to go to uh, to use your clutch when you're going down the gears. And when you don't, basically it's dealing it like a, a like your quick shifter up and down now this this i believe has only got the quick shift uh up on it because it's a it's a, a cabled it's got a cable for throttle so the quick shifts when you're on a cable quick shift as far as i know they only go up they don't go down so what the Yeah, well, what this this e clutch seems to do is allow it to go down. This to me now, this bike has got a quick shifter fitted and the e clutch. So, you know, if you took off the quick shifter, I don't know how it would deal. Yeah, but in terms, of, oh, it's fabulous, mate. It's that. Look at this. But it, it's the power on it is just immense. We're in line four as well. I've never been on an inline four or six hundred cc this sort of range that uh, holds the revs down so low and keeps so much torque on it. So I don't know what it's like in comparison to like the uh, six hundred dukes because most of the stuff on this now are all parallels. You'll have to get a gold one of these, Mike. You'll love it. And it's surprisingly good even on the motorway now, you know, sitting on it, sitting up. Well, the th this, the fairing doesn't really help you much on this. It's, it's all over your chest. No. No, it's on the chest. And the faster you go on it, you have to drop down. You'd have to put a bubble screen on this. But certainly, uh, well, no, the, it's basically the, the one which is in the same realm as the Fireblade is the, the 600, CBR 600 RR. That, the, 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 this, is, this is only a 90 brake horsepower, baby, where that one is. Yeah, oh, it's, it's definitely the bar. It's just fa absolutely fabulous. So, oh. It doesn't help I'm in a pink helmet. But, oh. It's so smooth. And there's a few tubers talking about going down the gears with it. On the e-clutch, it's superb, it's no different from the quick shift. Oh, they, this is a problem. You end up wanting to go too fast. Where is the M209 gone? Where's that Yamaha gone? 
Is he there? It's like having uh, Himalayan following me. You there, Mike? Oh yeah, I can hear you now. Jesus. I didn't. No, they were. They were. They were uh, advisory lines to point me in the right direction. That'll have to get cut out. <laughs> It's just, I, I, I'm absolutely blown away with this. Yeah, love it. I think you'd have a good... Yeah. Yeah. No, that... Yeah, that, well, that's it with this. It's just, it's usable power on it. And it's, it's quite smooth throughout all, you know, throughout all the actual, uh, the gear range. Don't matter what gear you're in on this e-clutch. I don't know whether it's the e-clutch that's doing that, or whether it's the bike, cause the bike is fabulous. It's just, it's like even now on these bumps, it's just swallowing them up. That's all it is, it's just... No, I think this e-clutch, the way this is working, is just for when you actually... You come to stop and you... You don't have to touch your clutch to go in gear. And when you take up... Yeah, when you, when you take away, when you move away, you can be in first gear, second gear, third gear. Uh, do you know something? I, I was talking about this yesterday, probably not because the DCT is completely different than this. The DCT sorts the gear out for you. Ooh, looks like it like that. It sorts it, it, it's fully automatic or if you use your paddles you can, you can manually do it but I think in terms if you want a road ride and you want, you want to have fun, this is better. Without doubt, this is better. I mean, that's fourth gear. And this is... Slippy in this in the road, Mike. It's just that... It is, it's just that this bike just wants... It makes you want to ride. Even in that six gear, you can feel it. I can say I'm not even. Uh, I'm not even touching the rev range on this where it really wants to go. You, you just, you haven't got the. Who's the space on the road? Cyclist in the road, mate. In the middle of the road. Mike. It's so smooth, this. This bike is so smooth. I think my back are just getting used to this, in this position. Absolute fabulous. Good round corners, like, for fun. But that's what it's designed to do. I'm not really, uh, I'm not really trying hard on it, to be honest, because it's like anything, well, I'm not, it's just, it's new to me. Well, that's it, I, well, that's all, that's what it is, you become better on a bike, you become quicker on a bike that you're used to. Oh, 
Oh, that. Yeah, the, 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 the MT is a monster bike. They were just, you know, I mean, they're one of the best bikes on the road. Come on, then, if you're keep on with that. Oh, there you are. You, yeah, I can still see you a bit. Just the engine gearbox on this bike is just fabulous. It's, uh, it's strange as well, you know, when you're so used to being on an adventure style bike. And then you're down, you're down on the handlebars, you're down on your shoulders. And it does, it, it is really comfortable, but it does, when you start working it, yeah, you're not as comfortable. Yeah. This is uh, very much the, the same, really. It's, it's not as aggressive as what Charlie's ZX6 was. Uh, the E-Clutch. Because the E-Clutch, they compare it to the, uh, to the DCT. And uh, I'd like them both. I still look, you know, it's like yesterday when I got on it, when coming back from work, I just thought, it feels better than the uh, DCT, but when you think about it overnight and then you think about the way you ride when you really start thinking about it, they are both different bikes. They're di different engineering. Uh, DCT hasn't got the versatility that this has. DCT, I think, for touring, for carrying passengers, uh, and it's like, there's a few of them I've heard now that they, they're turning around and saying uh, the likes of this isn't as smooth as a DCT. And I think it is. You know. I'm in first gear. I'm in first gear, that's it, it's mad. Yeah, that's what it's done. I mean, the, the magic that they've done on this is just untrue. That's it. Just good bit of luck in. Well done. But this, I love inline fours. Inline fours are just absolutely fabulous. I'm sorry to say they are better the parallel twins. It's hard work with the uh, the helmet I've got on because the peak on it. And I'm keeping it really up under 8,000. Because it's only done about 100 miles, this bike. It's not even its first service. Slow the speed down. Drop in there. Slow right down. I love that noise. Do you know, to be dead honest, if the Honda NC put the put this e-clutch on their manual one, I'd probably buy that. Because 
because I could, it could just be treated totally as a DCT if I wanted to. Or no, uh, and I think as Honda pushed this out onto other bikes, it's like now. I'm in fourth gear. I'm just dropping down on first gear. It's a te it's no different than the DCT. It's not a DCT, but it's no different. I can just come to stop. I mean... Yeah, let's just find a, a little road up here, just a quicker, that I can go really slow on it. Because this is the other thing, like the big men and motors and all that lot, turning around and saying, oh, well, you can't ride them really slow. You know, you need to use your clutch. I don't think that's the case. I think this, you know, in first, second or third gear, doing five mile an hour, it's just got, it's not going to judder, it's not going to, it's not going to stall. Let's see, is this a left hand lane here? No, it isn't. I just need to find somewhere that I can pull it and just go really, really slow. No, we'll stay on the left here. Go where that track just come out from. So all I want to do on it, never been down this lane anyway. Again, touch on the brake and then just on the finger. Oh, it's a dead end. So here we go. I'm in fourth gear now. You there, Mike? I'm in fourth gear. Third gear. Se Yeah, go on. Oh, you're on clutch. I'm in second gear. I'm in fourth gear. Well, so three mile an hour. And then look. Now, what's it going to be like to turn around? Harder than yours. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just go up here. Well, it certainly... Uh... Oh, we've got a bit of a gap there, so we can, we can possibly spin it around there. Put my legs down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Three point turn. Very short turning circle on it. Very short bars to turn. It's alright though, you know, it's like dead light. Right, so... Well, well, that's what means, so now look at me, one mile an hour. Yeah, but... Now, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what now. You go into... Ah, now, but that's that's strange, isn't it? So when you you lit, so once you go, here we go. So I'm going to go fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. I'm in sixth gear now. They say you don't do this. Come up next to me, so let's see it. So you're in fifth gear on an MC09. Yeah, so here, yeah. turn it into six, get it in six. Six. It's just untrue that. Th 
it, this is just untrue. This is this is black magic. I, I'm in first now. I'm in first at showing three mile an hour, but even just it it's smooth. It's really, really smooth. I love it. Absolutely love it. That's it. Right, so come alongside me. Get in third gear. Are you in third? Come on, slide. Let, let's do a roll on now. One, two, three, roll on. Now. So the MT09. An animal. 900cc versus 6, 650. And, and that that's in third gear that that's really really good oh yeah i mean you've got a lot more horsepower this this ain't bad for what it is right i tell you what come up come alongside now go into six gear get into six gear Right, now. Yeah. Yeah, so the MT09, but it's, like I say, it's got a lot, lot more powerful bike. This is a eight, eight and a half grand with, with the E-Clutch, 8,899. And the, uh, and the naked one is a thousand pound cheaper. Cardo, car N, Cardo N call, Cardo, oh, fucking hate these Cardos, Cardo N, N call, I'm pulling over Mike, Where's my phone gone now? Fucking hate technology. And I hate Google phones. Bag of shit. It's a stupid fucking cardo. Yeah. Oh, it'd be a, what? What would that be? It'd be astounding. No, I'm not being funny. If you put e clutch on any bike now, I think once you got used to it, I don't think people are used. Very, very rare would they use a clutch because yeah, that's it. That's exactly what this does. And the difference with this is as well, the DCT is a thousand pounds extra. To add this e clutch onto these bikes new is a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds. The DCT is eight, 8 to 10 kilograms, this is two, 2 kilograms. So just by putting on this on the, the NC750, you're saving, you're saving 8 kilograms. You're saving 900 quid. But, but like I say now, look, I'm in 6, so just go down. 
Isn't it? Isn't it? It's just... It's fabulous. <laughs>